Lawmaker on Development Plans for 3 ph Isles, Don't Trust China, Manila, Philippines An opposition lawmaker cautions the Philippine government against allowing Chinese companies to take over three islets in the northern part of the country, saying there's no guarantee that China would not use these for military purposes. Letting Chinese companies lease and develop the islets would be a huge national security risk, according to Rex. Manuel Devotion 3, as the party list proves Magalo composed mainly of former military officers. We can never be sure that the islands will strictly be used for tourism purposes, the Devotion said. The fact that Chinese firms have chosen islands of importance to strategic maritime security is enough to raise doubts on their motives, he said in a statement on Thursday, August 8. We should have learned our lessons. China said something in public but does otherwise on the ground, he added. Last August 6, Inquirer.net reported that the three islands Fuga in Tapian Province, Anxiang and Kikwita in Subic Bay, Bombayas are being eyed as centers of tourism by Chinese investors. The islands, however, are no ordinary parts of Philippine territory. They have strategic locations. Fuga is gateway to the Pacific Ocean. Grand and Kikwita are near 260 kilometers from Panada's shore, which is part of Philippine territory but occupied by China. Kevosin said the development of these areas should not be left to Chinese nationals, especially since Philippine state security forces and the Chinese still consider the Asian superpower as a threat. According to the Department of National Defense, China is still considered a primary threat to our national security given the West Philippine Sea conflict, the Bosun said. Having said this, the Philippine government should exercise extra caution on approving plans of developing Philippine islands into tourist destinations by Chinese firms, he added. He also insisted that military officials should have been consulted first about this plan. He said if the Chinese would be all to develop the islands, we are taking their bait. Our government will be the very enabler of China's creating invasion, Kevosin said. Tension with China over its aggressive actions in the West Philippine Sea was revived after a Chinese trawler ran the Philippine boat last June 9 in Recto Bank, a Philippine territory, and left Filipino fishermen to die at sea. Jennifer 1, carrying 20 Filipino fishermen, eventually sunk. The Filipinos were rescued by a Vietnamese ship hours after. Despite outrage over the case, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has labeled it as a little maritime accident. Slash TSB Red, read, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.